I, I would love to raise also how we began Ramallah syndrome. We, we began to discuss uh, Ramallah syndrome also with Salwa Migdadi from the beginning and from the idea of a Palestinian pavilion. And the first thing we found ourselves very much agreed on, both of us, is that we don't want to do something all the time related by force to the Israeli occupation. We don't want the Israeli occupation again and again and again to ruin with the, our first pavilion in uh, Venice. It's, it's our time, it's our right to think which are the society that we are really creating. And, and this is really a very important and uh, crucial moment for uh, Palestinians. I remember 15 years ago when I began to discuss with Alessandro all what is related with Palestine, we, all, we were all the time like arrived to the point of, of a real upset uh, from my side when he began to think about criticizing Palestine. For me, it was forbidden that anybody would criticize Palestine, Palestine because I grew up in a situation where I was fragile as, as a Palestinian, where I have the occupation, where I have to fight against the occupation. And anybody would dare to criticize Palestine means that he is anyway uh, uh, yeah, putting me even more into this fragile situation. And I think that after all these years, maybe it's time for us to begin thinking what we are really building, what we are really uh, producing as, uh, as Palestinians, and to think about a kind of self-criticism. Me, as women, I don't want to wait until the end of the occupation in order to begin thinking about my rights, because at this point, I might be, I might face, be faced by another uh, authority or another internal colonial regime that would not permit me to do so. So I think that even if we are under occupation, even if we are in a kind of strange transition where we are in a post-colonial regime while we are living uh, uh, under a, a very harsh occupation, I think that it is our responsibility, it is our first responsibilities as Palestinians, at, as internationals engaged into uh, this area of work to begin thinking what we are uh, uh, really producing and and it is really I think that this for us is like I see it as our main priority I want just to add one point in and I already moved from Jerusalem syndrome to exhaustion I think we are in a state of exhaustion of everything and 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 I think the the, the, the thing I would I would propose is, is, is exhaustion as a kind of notion it's just on the beginning. <laughs> no, but uh, I, I'm just, uh, just following up with your exhaustion idea. Is it's, well, it's very difficult, I mean, especially in your position, because you've shown remarkable stubbornness or resistance over the years, and you have this kind of very long story from the very early days from Anadil Gallery to the Al Mamal Foundation, the whole educational practice there as well and on and on and on, it has is, is went on. And that also makes you some, some sort of a gatekeeper. You are the gatekeeper of Jerusalem. And, uh, what, and <laughs> which, is, which is not all that bad. Thank God he's the gatekeeper of <laughs> Jerusalem. So, I mean, what, how does that, what, in, you know, what kind of? You know, it's a very responsible position at the same time because you don't, you're not, you were not asked to do this. It happened over the time because of your practice and because of your resistance, because of your stubbornness and all of that. And uh, how do you deal with this? Because you are asked to respond to things that are larger than all of us probably together. Yeah. And, and that all, I mean, it's, that's actually not only Jacques, but it's anyone who's, uh, whose practice gets yeah, more think, and I'd... more visible is under the same predicament in a, in, a, in a very particular way, because I know that there are demands on you, as you've said, almost every day. The emails come in, the this come in, everybody wants to meet, everybody wants to do this, everybody wants to do that, everyone wants to have a collaborative practice. There's always some Mediterranean foundation out there who wants to send you interns for, you know, uh, there's a whole war between, you know, the, between the Spanish and the French, and a little bit with the Italians. Like, who are who is going to own, uh, you know, uh, north of Sahara in in symbolic ways, in cultural ways, and all of that. So that's 
just just want to yeah, talk about that. Well, I, maybe I'll, I'll focus on Jerusalem syndrome as, as an example, but definitely anybody who holds a microphone or is given a space to, to kind of do something, uh, present something or, or, or uh, uh, put together a presentation, an exhibition is, 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 a, is eventually somebody who's a gatekeeper for some, some sort of representation, for some sort of, you know, um, an engagement. So, it, I just want I don't want to dwell on on the political uh, predicaments that uh, you know I'm somehow faced with with regard to being on the, on the front line you know I, I, I always kind of saw Jerusalem is really right on the front line of, of this confrontation and yes it is the, uh, the the place where where both Israelis and Palestinians are are you know kind of rubbing shoulder to shoulder you know on the streets but it's also the place that had um, that had been doomed over the past two decades by a process that totally uh, negated its presence, totally sidelined it, and gave that Ramallah syndrome uh, uh, that that name. You know, I, I'm I'm surprised by some people and some friends. I call them friends who, in in such forums identify me as from Ramallah, you know? And it's as, as if, you know, you cannot say that you're from Jerusalem, as if Jerusalem is so, you know, problematic and <laughs> that you cannot be identified with Jerusalem. And, 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 and that you can, you can, you, can, you know, think and expre extrapolate, and, you know, into I'm, everything. You know, I, this is, I mean, this in particular is something that always baffled me, right? How much our relationship to like to space, uh, our making of like our own historical ideas of what our urbanity, our cities are like, even our societies, our experiences in relation to the like the larger national project. And um, I mean, you wonder how things change so fast in, in, in our context to the point where only eight years ago you could have easily accessed Jerusalem, but now you can't, right? And I, I, I always, I mean, this is my conclusion, um, and, and, and this is what we've seen, at least in terms of like the manifestation of the occupation in, from the Israeli side in our, in our um, ur urbanity. Um, I think what has happened is this constant change, uh, this fragmentation, this buildup of all the, um, uh, the these, uh, these models from the checkpoint to the changing checkpoint to sometimes they make it into a terminal, sometimes they open it, sometimes they close it. I think what is happening is that our experiences are becoming so, uh, so disparate, so they're so, so different from each other. And I think it's not arbitrary. I mean, this kind of logic and perpetuation of constant logic of change on geography and materiality, it becomes an, uh, an emphasis that we don't have a shared history of space and time. If you cross the checkpoint, it doesn't look like me. Uh, I think there, is, there becomes an attempt of us in a syndrome way to create these small collectives, these Bantu stands, okay? Some kind of affiliation, but we are not aware of the larger pic picture that what is happening is there is a real collapse of our understanding of a, a, a larger space of what constitutes, if you want, Palestine. Uh, what does Jerusalem look like these days? For me, I mean, if you want to think of people being removed from that so recent and uh, uh, history that it's becoming even remote, this kind of logic is, is incredible. Um, I, I think this is something that is, uh, uh, we are faced with on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, but this and, and all these projects are make, trying to make it an awareness, but also trying to create a continuum. I mean, it's very interesting that you're doing Ramallah syndrome, you're doing Jerusalem syndrome, now we're in Palestine syndrome, in an attempt to really historicize what is the momentum that is happening within that space.